have sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, it's Ripper here because we're doing a fantastic today. Got a fun video with the Delny, uh, kind of my thoughts on it. Someone had asked me to do a review on it and here are my thoughts. But before we begin, like, subscribe, bell button below. Appreciate all the support. We just did a, a, a premium DD giveaway at 2,000 subs. Thank you guys for getting us there. And now at next one will be our 4,000 doubling it. And we'll do another premium giveaway as well. Can't thank you guys enough for helping build a community, making a great place, and learning something at the same time. So let's get right to it. What is the Delny Tier 10 Soviet kind of destroyer? I'll read a little snippet about it and then i'll give you my thoughts uh the delny um uh, topping off the Russian destroyer mainline, Delny stands as a pinnacle of long-range gunboat playstyle developed over the preceding tiers. As a fictional post-war improvement to the real-life Tashkent design, she re features improved gunnery, torpedoes, and survivability. However, she isn't as much of an upgrade compared to Tier 9 predecessor compared to some other Tier 10 ships. With a high top speed and excellent gun performance and range, Delny can reliably engage targets out to her maximum range to help kill a spotted destroyer or farm capital ships from relative sa safety. Overall, Delny is a typical long-range gunboat destroyer like Lebert, Mogador, and other uh, large destroyers. She's most comfortable sitting at mid or long range on a flank, dealing damage to whatever she can do while dodging return fire. Her torpedoes are more effective than the preceding Russian gunboats, but her guns are still her primary weapon. While she can get close and fill a more traditional destroyer role when team composition forces her to, she isn't suited for close-range engagements due to her large size and poor agility. With her high speed, excellent gun performance, and increased survivability, Delny is about as close to a cruiser as she can get while still filling a destroyer slot. When played to her fullest potential, she will be an annoying thorn in the side of whichever enemy ships in up in her sight. So, uh, just reading that summary right there, you can understand that Delny is more of that long range, medium kind of destroyer, kind of like the Kabarovsk. I think it is kind of the sister ship to the Kabarovsk and uh, or the Kabarovsk vice versa and a kind of the super destroyer, the uh, Zorky. So this is that Soviet heavy destroyer kind of gameplay where you're literally a zombie ship just sitting in the distance, shooting and lobbing shells, juking, throttle juking back and forth and just lobbing shells, starting fire, just being that really, really annoying destroyer player. And that kind of sums up my gameplay style with Delny. And, and how do I like that? Honestly, uh, I would rather play a um, a Zorky more uh, because at least a Zorky has some kind of gimmick in it which brings something to the battlefield, which is that burst fire mode. Outside of it, it they're all the same. It really is this... I mean, look at the concealment, first of all. I mean, I built this down as low as I can get it to 8.2, and that's it. I mean, look at the range that you're spotted from the moon. Essentially, just like the description talks about, it's really a long range... Or, I'm sorry, a small cruiser-style gameplay. And as you can see in the background footage, I hate destroy or submarines, by the way. It's so annoying. Uh, and look, I can't even get on top of that destroyer to drop depth charges on it, like literally driving over a target to drop, drop targets. I'm literally like a carrier on the water where I have to overfly a target to destroy a submarine, which is really not conducive because he can stay underwater the whole time, and I have no weapon against him other than drop torpedoes on him. I mean, I'm sorry, drop depth charges on him. And look, he's running away again. I mean, they are so fast, and I thought Delny was a quick ship. It's got the engine boost and stuff, and it can really get up to that 50 knot kind of range but i can't do much more in a delny yet let alone a Kabarovsk or maybe even a zorky outside of just being a really annoying zombie ship running around with my head cut off shooting and guns blazing and and that's really i, I noticed that's the style of gameplay of the delny now the cool feature of the delny that i've i looked up is the basically the armor even though they said that the the, the description says it's not really a close uh, range kind of uh, knife fighting gunboat um, it has 50 millimeter armor plating on it in the midsection, and the rest of the you know, the destroyer ship is 19 millimeters or less, and that allows uh, you know destroyers can you know duke it out with it. But man, that 50 mil plating. I think that's what, I think at one point Ragnar had 50 millimeter plating, but that 50 mil plating in the center of the ship, which is mo what most people usually aim at, is really beneficial because it shatters a lot of low uh, caliber shells, um, i.e., uh, you know, secondary, obviously destroyer gun, you know, uh, guns on, uh, most destroyers have like what, 121 millimeter or less, which only pen maybe 21 or 19 millimeters. So all their HE shells and everything are shattering on that 50 mil, uh, mid plating. And it's, and that comes in crucial when you're knife fighting it out and gunboating. But I've noticed I'm not really doing much of that in the Delny because I can't get within range of most, uh, destroyers to gunboat battle because my detection is so long range. And and outside, like a Gdansk, a Gdansk, I, like an, I build it usually out to eight kilometers of a detection concealment, but 
at least you have a radar to spot the DD. With the Delny, you got to drive in to find that destroyer. I mean, if you're spotted from 8.2, let's say I'm going against a Haraguma right there. You can see 6.2 detec detection, or even worse, a Shimakaze. I literally have to drive about 2 to 3 kilometers in. And judging by how the game and the speed, everything I do, I just rough mental math. If it takes me about six kilometers, about a minute to go six kilometers, so I have to drive at least another maybe 20 to 30 seconds, um, assuming the destroyer is sitting in one spot to even get within range to do anything. Unless that destroyer doesn't fire, doesn't do anything, just remains concealed. Um, I'm I'm SOL. I can't really do much other than you what you're seeing in the background here, just kind of lazily sitting in the back and shooting it from long distance, which is exactly what the summary and description talk about. This is all I can really do. So I don't feel like I'm an effective um, destroyer player that can bring something to the fight. I'm really just kind of just hanging out in the back, in the middle, which is not what a destroyer, a good destroyer player needs to be. You need to be leading from the front. You got to be spotting. You got to be taking the fight to the enemy, pushing the DDs out of the cap. You also got to be pushing cruisers out of the area or at least starting a lot of fires on them. You're torping, like you see here, torping a lot of destroyers and uh, even cruisers and battleships and just being that annoying player. Now, the cool thing, it does have the uh, throttle, the engine boost, of course, and the heals, which allows us to, you know, 26,200 is what we start off with. I can heal a lot of that back and then I'm throttle juking them. They're missing a lot of those shots. Um, you really got to pick and choose your battles very carefully in the Delny, and that's something that, you know, I proved to be maybe difficult. As you can see, that the background footage here is really, I got nothing. I can't hydro, I can't radar, I've got to just rush a smoke, and I could be spotted at any moment here, and now he's shooting from smoke, so I'm taking a big gamble. Well, what else can I do? I have to do, I have to push, otherwise, no one else is pushing. All Everybody else is in the back, like always. But. Right now, I'm spotted from the moon. I have no idea where this guy's at. Okay, so Yamato is spotting me. Isn't that funny? A battleship spotting me. So now everybody's aiming at me and firing at me. So I got to basically push the the uh, the threat and try to get behind the smoke so I go undetected at least and use the enemy smoke to my advantage. There you go, undetected. Uh, using the good old you know, use your enemy smoke tactic. Good thing the Yamato goes down from a submarine. Of course, submarines, I hate them. And we're going to get spotted right as soon as we pop out of the smoke. So I'm trying to see if this works. Um, maybe this uh, the speed that I'm using, I'm getting up to 50 knots here, and I can spot. Yep, there he is. And I, I'm, I'm lucky that the Haraguma didn't have enough speed to get out and bay, uh, take him out of the game. But the, honestly, uh, and there's the other fellow, Gdansk, I talked about. Even though he's spotted from the moon sometimes, he at least has radar and smoke, where the Cabra, I mean, sorry, the Delny, just like the Cabra, doesn't have anything. All it has is speed and armor. And you just still get taken out by that those shells. I mean, if you land them per perfectly on our superstructure and the front and the bow of the ship, it really hurts. So now we got the Alvaro de Bazan, which has that burst fire mode. At least he has some kind of a gimmick. And let's see. Yep. There, I mean, it's hard to kill a, a Delny and a Kabarov, like you see here. I mean, he's shooting at me, but it's really doing minimal damage. And all I can do now, the guns are awesome. They do. They have these great angles. You can see right there, very low. And uh, let's see, that, but the DPM is very, very terrible. 136,000 in her damage. She ranks in the top, in the tier 10 uh, arena for 20, out of the 26 destroyers, Delny ranks 23. Pretty, pretty awful, if you ask me. I mean, it, work, it even ranks worse than the Kleber, uh, a, a gearing, a hollow, I mean, terrible, terrible DPM. But like I said, the shell angles, I mean, so the arc angles of the uh, the shells are really, really awesome. The speed of the initial shells is 950 meters per second. So these things are pretty quick coming out of the barrel, and they do some great uh, damage at distance. But like I said, I, I mean, I don't feel comfortable with it. Only three sets of guns. Yeah, they're accurate and cool. I'd rather, but if I want accuracy and stuff, I'd rather shoot a a, um, a bigger caliber weapon like a, a Ragnar has. Is 151 millimeters. Elbing has that more accurate long range guns. The, even the Tromp has those 150 something millimeter guns, which shoot dis at a distance and do some decent damage. Here you can see the Delny. Yeah, they're shooting long distance, but I'm not really feeling that umph that I need uh, when I'm going against. You know, some heavy destroyer players. This Gadanza has got four sets of guns on me while I don't. And, man, I am getting pummeled here. Now, the heal does come in handy here, but you see the survivability of this thing? It is so annoying to shoot at and kill. And the survivability on the Delny is just like a Kabarovsk and just like a Zorki. It just survives. And that's all you really can do. Just draw a lot, a lot of fire. You can see the potential damage up at the top there. 903,000 damage of, sh uh, or, uh, of firepower shot at me. And... 
I'm still alive. I mean, just to be able to draw almost a million worth of damage being shot at you is pretty impressive to absorb, but you have to really sacrifice a lot. I'm out of position. I'm not in a position to do anything. Uh, I'm not able to take the fight to enemy. I don't have enough health. My, my heals are on cooldown. Yeah. So, but overall, how do I like the Delny? I really don't. That's why you don't see many people play it. You don't see many people rank it. Uh, I don't like it that much. I, I would probably rather play a, um, a Zorky. Uh, a little bit better and that's a super ship that costs money and credits to play so really i don't know the soviet cruiser or destroyer line yeah it, it's 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 not really there my liking i think a lot of people that's why i don't really see much of it around like again uh if you're gonna play as a soviet cruiser or destroyer i'd rather play as orgy at that point see so um my take on it yeah i it, it is what it is it's just like everybody says it, it is not a, it didn't even make the ranking sometimes but honestly i don't think many people play it i don't really see much of it uh i'd rather play um if you're going to do any kind of damage or use torpedoes I'd rather play like a, a gearing and you know the typical uh you know destroyer players for torping and whatnot and i pref preferably like the radar uh, kind of style DD gunboats, something with heels that are like a, a daring or a, uh, maybe even um, what's another a destroyer like a small one or Holland. Those kind of destroyers, at least you got concealment, at least you got the heels, and you can deal with all the other threats just like normal. But the Delny, it just doesn't feel like I can use it to be an impactful game um, player in the game. But anyways, hope you guys enjoy that. Um, as always, let me know uh, if you're out there. Say hi, and as always, be safe, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Cheers.